Halloween. October 31st is Halloween and is now celebrated in many countries around the world. But do you know anything about the origins of this scary special day? The Origins of Halloween If you think of Halloween, you probably think of scary carved pumpkins, all kinds of fancy dress and children asking for sweets. And if you think of a country that celebrates Halloween, you probably think of the United States first. Americans and Canadians have adopted Halloween in a big way, but Halloween traditions actually come from 16th century Ireland, Scotland and England. The tradition of Halloween on the 31st of October comes from the ancient Celtic festival of Samhain. Samhain was the Celtic New Year and they celebrated it on the 1st of November because that was the end of summer and harvest time life, and the beginning of winter, death. It was also the time for ghosts to return to earth for a day. People lit a big fire, wore special clothes made of animal skin and hoped to be safe from the ghosts in the winter. In AD 609, the Catholic Church put the Christian celebration of All Saints Day on the 1st of November. In AD 1000, the Church added All Souls Day on the 2nd of November, and All Hallows Eve, or Halloween, moved to the night of the 31st. Pumpkins The Celts carved faces into vegetables like turnips, potatoes and squash. A pumpkin is a kind of squash to scare the ghosts and other spirits and make them go away. It was sometimes called a jack-o'-lantern because of an Irish story about a man, Jack. He played a trick on the devil and then had to walk the earth for all time as a punishment. Irish people who came to live in the United States in the 1800s found pumpkins much easier to carve, and the tradition became the one we see today. Fancy Dress the Celts were afraid of the ghosts that came on Samhain. If they went outside after dark, they covered their faces with masks. They hoped any ghosts they met would think they were ghosts too and would leave them alone. In early America, the Native Americans and the first Europeans celebrated the end of the harvest, but not Halloween. When Irish people arrived, the harvest festival started to look more like Halloween and it became popular across the country. In the late 19th century, people tried to make Halloween less about ghosts and religion and more about celebrating the season with a party for neighbors and family. That's why Americans today wear all kinds of Halloween costumes and not just scary things like witches and ghosts like in other countries. Trick or Treat This is another tradition that began in Europe, this time in England. When the church introduced All Souls Day, rich people gave poor people soul cakes, a small cake made with spices and raisins. It replaced the Celtic tradition of leaving food outside houses for the ghosts. Going to souling was popular in England for hundreds of years until about the 1930s. The Americans kept the tradition, but today children knock on people's doors and ask for sweets. Going trick or treating is so popular that a quarter of the sweets for the year in the United States are sold for this one day. The rest of the world. Halloween has become the United States' second biggest commercial festival after Christmas. Halloween is also celebrated in other countries, but it's not as big as in the United States, 
even in the countries where the traditions began. Mexico celebrates the Day of the Dead from the 31st of October to the 2nd of November and some of its traditions, like giving gifts of sugar skulls, are starting to mix with Halloween. In this way, the celebration of Halloween continues to change as new traditions join the oldest of the Celtic ones. Thanks to all of you to watch this video. If you want to improve your understanding and listening skills in English effectively, Please follow our non-native listening school YouTube channel and subscribe for free. Please don't hesitate to click the like button and share with your friends. If you want to write down your own comments about this video, we will be very happy to hear your ideas in the comment section below. Don't forget that learning language is a long journey. So, as being non-native listening school our mission is to make this journey as enjoyable as possible. Are you agree on that with us? Great. Then, see you next video.